Okay, we're going to do um, black count. I guess the easiest way to go about it is to, I'll show you the chords in order, and you can just kind of jot them down and learn some vo different voicings, and then I'll, I'll run through the rhythm. So it starts out with the, just an A minor, the two notes, and uh, the first chord is this C13. Based on the C chord here, in the eighth fret, but you're playing the high C like that. And then when the verse starts, this is a, a voicing of a C sixth. It looks like it would be an E flat. Uh, sorry, an F major seven, but it's based on the C root, so it's a form of a of a six. And you're doing this line where you're taking this part, these notes, sliding it down, going up to the C note, and sliding it down. From there we go to an A seven raise five. And if you play this all six strings, it's a raise five flat nine. But we're only strumming to the second string, so we we block the fifth string. D minor 11, which your D root, then to an E7, raise 9, you might be familiar with this E7, take that triangle and add your little finger, to an E flat, major 9, so it's 6, 5, 7, 6, that progression will repeat the next time you get to the E flat major 9 you play an E 11 again you can block the fourth string play 3 2 1 and now we're on the chorus this is a voicing of an A major 7 <clears throat> A is the root with your thumb and you're on four, five, six, seven. To a B minor seven. You might be familiar with a full six string bar. You don't need this note. You can play the root with your second finger, block the fifth string, bar across the rest of the notes. Then you play a D minor, you can call it D minor 13, it's a D minor 7, but we're adding the 6th of the D, carrying it over from the B minor 7. Back to the A major 7, down to a G major 7, to an F sharp minor 7, and then E flat 7 raised 9, to a flat 9. To B minor seven and then B minor and then C sharp minor seven raise five and then F sharp minor seven E major seven D major seven to C major seven Three, where you're going to be. And then the chorus.
goes to the solo, um, piano solo, keyboard solo, goes to a G, changes to a G7, A7, you'll pause and the keyboard will do, and then you'll go to an E flat, nine, to a D9, four measures of that, chord but it's there's your triangle from the seven raise nine you just flatten out root five ninth two measures of e9 you'll hear another break and that may actually be a guitar and then e flat one e flat nine to an e9 and then there's that big horn build up back into your last chorus, which is abbreviated, so I'll play it. You can cop the uh, solo. You can get ideas of the, the solo over that from the from that ending sax solo. It's all in the key of A, and you can you can hear it uh, quite clearly. Things like that. And that is it. Uh, any questions? Drop me a line. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks. <laughs>